happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a super exciting nail design for you all so it is february um so not only is it the month of love with valentine's day but it is also black history month and so i wanted to dedicate a set of nails to black history month and i'm going to be doing a really cool design on this hand here so i'm gonna go ahead and show you all what my inspiration was for this set so I um, saw this picture online, hopefully there's not a glare. I saw this picture online and I thought it was really cute. So I'm gonna try to recreate this look and I'm gonna change up the colors a little bit. And then also, I want to try and draw the continent of Africa. So I'm gonna try to do that on my thumbnail here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop right on into this tutorial. Today I'm gonna be doing some freehand nail art. So I haven't done that since I think Halloween. So I'm excited to do more of that. So I'm gonna hop right on into everything you're gonna need. So I do have my colors of choice here. These are all the colors I'm gonna be using. They are all from Beatles. You all know Beatles is like my favorite gel polish brand. So these are all the colors you're gonna need. Um, you're also gonna need, of course, your base coat, top coat, and a lot of different nail art brushes of your choice. And I'm also gonna be implementing these awesome, cool, colorful foils, which I'm like super thrilled and excited about. So these are gonna get some action today. I actually recently hauled those and um, haul video either should be up or will be going up soon. So those are gonna be in the mix here. And then I think that's it. I might even throw these in, but we'll see towards the end here how I'm feeling. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into this tutorial. I did go ahead and prep my hand off camera. So these are just the Beatles full cover coffin tips. Um, yeah, I didn't wanna waste too much time with prep. You all have seen me do that a couple of different times. And I'm actually thinking about doing a dedicated video to how I apply my full cover tips um, using the A-Press uh, Gelix Dupe method, method or Kiara Sky Jelly Tip Method. So let me know if you all um, want to see that video because it's really quick and easy to do. It takes me like maybe seven minutes to prep everything in application. So let me hop right on into this. I want to start off by um, using the nude from the Beatles collection here. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint every nail that color except my thumbnail. My thumbnail I'm gonna do slightly different. So I'm just gonna need probably two coats of this on each nail. This is a really beautiful nude color. So since this is a Black History Month set, I'm curious to know how do you all celebrate Black History Month? What do you all do um, to honor Black History? What do you all do to, um, you know, just celebrate, recognize, etc.? I'd be curious to know. Okay, so you'll go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, so now that that's been fully cured, you wanna go in with your second coat here. I'm gonna go ahead and speed through me doing that. Okay, so that is what this color is looking like after two coats. This is a lovely nude color. So after that, I'm gonna go in with my three uh, colors. I'm gonna do the green, yellow, and red Pan-African colors. So with the green, I couldn't quite find the color that I wanted, so I'm gonna try to make a custom color. This is kind of the green color that I wanted to use here, but I don't think that this green here looks like that. What do you guys think? Yeah, this is more of like a olive green kind of color. So I, try, I'm, I think I'm gonna try to custom make my green here. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of this on my palette like so, and I wanna try to deepen that green up a bit so that it's more so the color that I'm looking for. Okay, so we got that. And then I think I wanna take this deeper green here just to darken it up just a bit. And I hope that gives me the color that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two together and see what happens. Okay, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that's the color here? Maybe? 
No, yes, no. I don't know, but I'm going with that color. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and use my, um, just a gel brush here. And then I'm just gonna get some on the brush. And then I'm just gonna do that sideways French tip here. So I'm just gonna kind of let the brush do the work for me. Okay. Like so. I'm gonna probably bring it down a little bit further. And the cool thing about this design is that you don't have to be perfect with your application. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth that out here. I feel like this brush is a bit too dense to use for this, but we gonna, we gonna go with it here. There we go. Build up that opacity a little bit. All right, I think that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure this for um, 30 seconds. So that's been cured. And now I'm going to go in with um, the yellow color here on my middle finger and kind of do that same like sideways squiggly situation. So I'm gonna just let the brush do the work for me like so. Okay, so I'm gonna flash cure that for 10 seconds. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with my red color here. And just kind of do the same thing, that sideways squiggly on the pinky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with two coats of this and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what the two coats of the gel polish looks like on all of the fingers. And then I also went ahead and did my thumb off camera. So now I'm going to apply my base gel here so that these beautiful foils have something to adhere to. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these now. So. I think I want to go ahead and open up the yellow, green, and red. I'm just going to open these up. This is about to get a little messy, y'all. I already know it. All right, so I'm going to go in with my base coat here. And I'm going to apply that to all the nails. So I'm going to put the base coat only where I intend to put the foil at, which is really just like in this little middle area here. And my reason for doing this is just to create a sticky layer so that the foils can have something to adhere to. So you just want to go through and do that really quick. Okay, so I just finished applying the, bla the base coat and I flash cured it for 30 seconds. Now I'm just going to go in with, I'm going to just use a wooden cuticle stick. And I'm gonna just take a little bit of the base gel on the stick here and use that to pick up my flakes. So I'm gonna start off with the green one here. And you just wanna place it right along the edge of the, um, the design. So I'm gonna just take a little piece here and place it down. And you wanna do that kinda haphazardly right along the edge, like so. And then once it's on, you'll wanna just press the foils kinda into that base gel, like so. And just a little bit more here. Okay, it's creating a little bit of a different look than I was hoping for, but we're gonna roll with it.
So I got this piece a little bit too far out. I don't know if putting alcohol on it will help move it off. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'm not sure how to fix this. Let's see here. Okay. Once you have the foils applied, you'll just want to press it down. So I'm doing that here. And I like how that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of the nails here. Okay, so honestly, this was more so the look that I was trying to go for with that green nail. So I might have to come back and redo this nail. So we will see how that goes. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the red one next and see if this comes out just as good. Yeah, I like how the red one looks as well. All right, that's perfect. So I'm loving how that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and press down on the red. Yeah, that's beautiful. So I'm actually gonna go in and redo the, um, the index finger or maybe just try to clean it up here. Let me see. So I like how these look. I need to try to fix this index finger. So I'm gonna try to see if I could take some of these foils off. I don't know if that's really working. Yeah, there we go. I wanna try to take them off and just kind of make that, make them come in a little bit closer to the line so that it looks like the other nails, which I think is working here. There we go. Yeah, that's more so the look I was going for. Then I'm gonna just bring the bottom in here. So, okay, let me see if my brush with alcohol on it will help get some of these specks off. Oh, darn. Oh, just put more on there. <laughs> so yeah, it seems the only thing that's really helping to get it off is scraping it. So I'm just gonna scrape, scrape, scrape a little bit. So this is a lesson learned right here. So now my index finger has that green in it more so than I want. So a lesson would have been to have applied the top coat first, that way I wouldn't have contaminated the bottom part of the new nail. But we're just gonna roll with this. I'm gonna see how I can fix this here. I guess before I make any more of a mess, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat these two nails just to secure the design in. And I'm gonna do that with my gel top coat here. And then while I try to work on fixing this index finger, because I don't want that green to be in the nude area. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure this just to kind of seal that in place. Okay, so on here, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the top coat as well. And I'm just gonna kind of float the gel over top of that design, just so that it doesn't, you know, the foils don't move too much. And then on the rest of it, I'm gonna just kind of bring it down. Okay, so I'm gonna flash through the pinky here. So I think I'm gonna go in with my wooden stick on this hand to try to fix. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Just to try to remove that green that got everywhere. It's working, but it's like hard to get off. Okay, so I ended up having to apply some acetone to my gel brush just to clean up that area. So I'm gonna go ahead and top coat it before I make any other mess over here. And then like I did with the um, pinky, I'm just gonna kind of apply a thick layer of the gel over the flakes first and then coat the rest of the nail just so that the flakes don't move around too much on me. Okay, so I'm gonna just flash cure that. Now that that's been flash cured, I can go in and do a full, nice glossy top coat on all the nails. So then you'll wanna just cure for the full 60 seconds. This is what the nails are looking like after the top coat has been applied. So that looks really nice. And now I'm gonna go ahead and draw the fist, like the, the black power fist on this hand here. And I do have my Young Nails Micro Detailer brush, and I'm gonna see how this bad boy works.
Actually, I just thought about it. I have my Young Nails um, Mission Control paint. I was actually just gonna use my Beatles gel polishes and I just thought, why don't I just give these a go? So let's see here. I have my Mission Control paints in Overdrive and in Fizz. So that's what I'm gonna use for my nail art here. I am just gonna open up the pots and just use the use it straight from the pots. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't think about it earlier to just use the uh, Young Nails one, but I'm happy I thought of it now. So, and what I like about the Young Nails one, or what I think I'm gonna like about it is the fact that it's not as runny. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how this works out for me. Okay, yeah, I can see that it's of a thicker consistency. So I'm gonna try to draw this black power hand here. Oh wow. Yeah, I can see I'm gonna like this better already because it's a lot more opaque. Look at that. Beautiful. I like how that looks. I'm gonna flash cure this. So what is something that you all do to celebrate black history? Um, I know some things that I do to celebrate black history is I try to um, one, try to go to like more like black history museums and such that's in my area just to try to learn more about black history. Um, I do think it's kind of interesting that black history isn't really taught much in schools. Like you get the basics, you know, Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and things like that, but you really don't learn about, um, you know, the awesome things that um, black people have accomplished um, as far as like you know, creating the refrigerator and creating peanut butter and things like that. So, um, yeah, I just, um, and so, yeah, I just think it's interesting. And so, yeah, I think it's just really important to, um, you know, educate yourself. So it's been a lifelong journey for me just to learn more about my history, where I come from and the things that we have accomplished as black people. Um, so yeah, that's one thing that I do. And then another thing that I like to do is trying to support black owned businesses. That's something that I do regardless if it's Black History Month or not. Um, but as you saw on my channel, I did feature some black owned and then women owned businesses. Um, I did a review on the the Tony Daly wig, which is um, a YouTuber here. She's based out of Canada. Um, and I purchased one of her products and then also another YouTuber who makes nail products, which is Eden's Rose. I have a swatch video. Um, on both of them. So yeah, I just think it's important to make sure we are educating ourselves continuously and um, you can never know or have too much knowledge. So yeah, um, I am now done with filling this in. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for the full 60 seconds here. Okay, so that has been fully cured. That's how she is looking. So cute. 
All right, so now I'm going to go in with that my white color here, and I am going to just outline the uh, fist and go ahead and kind of create that entire look here. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm gonna go ahead and cure it. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm gonna go over that outline one more time just to kind of thicken up that line. So this is what the fist is looking like. I went ahead and just um, top coated it off camera because my uh, battery died right when I was getting, right as I finished up the artwork. So that's what this is looking like. I was originally going to do something different on this thumb, but I think I like the simple, the simplicity of this. I think I like that it's kind of like simple with that little bit of pizzazz here at the um at the French tip, so I am gonna go ahead and just do a French tip black over here with the black foil. So that's how I'm gonna finish off this look. I'm shocked I'm not adding no bling to the look, y'all, cause y'all know me and my bling. I've been loving it lately, but I think, you know, it's okay for it to take a little rest. So that's how I'm gonna do the thumb here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that on up. I really, really enjoyed those Young Nails um, paint pots as well as the um, brushes. Those things are really awesome to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. So now that that has been applied, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my top coat here. Okay, so then you'll flash cure for 60 seconds. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. All right, say it loud. Hey, I'm black and I'm proud. What? Okay. <laughs> I am loving how this look turned out. Y'all yeah, see the little black power fist, okay? And then we got the thumbnail done here. So yeah, I am absolutely loving this look. Um, I'm happy I got a chance to um, do some Black History Month nails because that's something I really wanted to make sure I participated in. So yeah, let me go ahead and hydrate these cuticles, okay y'all? And actually, let me go ahead and do this hand while I'm at it because, you know, she needs a little love too. All right, you guys. Yes, yes. I'm absolutely loving this. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I do also have a look on my Valentine's Day nails as well. So, I will have that link down in the description. But, yeah, this is like true life of a YouTuber, okay? Walking around with two different sets of nails, but you know, I think my friends and family, they're used to it by now. But anywho, yeah, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Um, are you all gonna do any Valentine's Day nails or are you all gonna do any like History Month nails or are you doing both? Um, I definitely think you should participate in both. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres. So that's where I am there tuned in live with you all chatting about the nail look that I'm creating on screen. So yeah, I hope to see you all next Thursday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!